What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. Today I'm gonna to be filming a study with me video. I'm really excited to do one because I haven't done them in a very long time and I have a lot of work that I need to get done. But first I'm gonna run a 10K at the Great Kings Run. It's currently 8.20 in the morning so I really need to get a move on if I'm gonna make it on time. So I actually participated in this run last year. I ran 11.2 kilometers at a 4.34 pace, which honestly looking back sounds incredibly fast and I don't know if I can do that again, but I'm gonna do it as best as I can and I'll let you know how it goes. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update around medical school, how things are going, because it's been a little while since I did my last vlog. So if you didn't know, I'm actually a third year medical student studying at King's College London. And this year, in third year, things have gone in pretty difficult. So the amount of clinical work that we have to do has been stepped up quite a bit. Now we're in the hospital three days a week, and then we also have a full day dedicated towards our scholarly project. So basically, we only have one day left, which is Wednesdays, in order to go over our lectures, actually learn all the material that we're seeing on clinical placement, and to study for our exams. So today, hopefully, I'm gonna be able to catch up on some of that work that I haven't been able to do during the week because I'm so busy. And yeah, that's basically the quick update. Med school's getting tougher. Surprise, surprise, who would have thought? my legs were gonna collapse. They were feeling numb, my head was feeling all strange, but I ran at a faster pace than I did last year, so improvements are being made, which is good. I think I shaved about five seconds off on average per kilometer. Happy to have seen some improvement for sure, but I am exhausted right now. successful 10k run that was really really good I'm gonna jump in the shower relax a little bit probably get a coffee and I will meet you back here in a sec <sighs> all right probably a bit of an abnormal start to a study with me video but now that the runs out of the way we can move on to the proper part of this video I've got a couple of things that I want to do today. One is to finish off the last lecture of the trauma rotation, which is the series of lectures that I'm going through right now. At some point, I also need to call my partner who's working with me on the research project that I'm doing. We've already written an abstract and we've gotten a bunch of corrections from our supervisors. So we need to correct those and then upload the abstract and submit it. Then at some point in the coming week, I'm going to be releasing my first year medical school notes that you guys can get online from my Etsy shop. So I'm really excited about that, but I've still got a couple of things that I need to finish up so that it's perfect when it gets released. And there's a Whole bunch of other stuff that I want to do but let's just get started. So I'm gonna have a quick listen to this lecture while taking notes on my iPad and I will catch up with you guys after that. All right guys let's go to the couch for some serious talk. We have our first progress test, progress test five on November 4th. Yeah, November 4th. Now this progress test, it doesn't actually count towards our final grades. However, it is a good opportunity to take some time to study, learn the material properly, and then test out how well you know that material under exam conditions. Now in third year, I really haven't had as much time as I would like to take my lecture notes, look over the material, make sure I understand it, and no way, no test my active recall using flashcards, do practice questions, etc. So what I'm gonna start off by doing is going through the lecture notes that I've taken quite briskly. And then I'm gonna go on online and use other resources like from YouTube or osmosis and things like that. And that's what I'm going to make my second set of condensed notes from. So it's always a little bit scary when you try out a different studying technique. You know, this is something that I really haven't done before. I've always just stuck to the lectures. I'm feeling a little bit hungry, but I feel like I can work for a little bit more before I go make lunch. So I'm going to go do what I just talked about for about an hour and then I'll check in with you again. Now, for example, I've come onto tumor staging and I recognize this as something that's come up in my exams before, something that's important. So I'm gonna go online and see if I can find any other resources that can teach me this in a different way than how I learned it in lecture because I don't think that way was particularly good. 
Okay, so as you guys can see, because Notability is connected from my iPad to my laptop, everything that I just wrote on my iPad, you can see has appeared over here. So this way, anytime I wanna access my notes from either device, they're always gonna be available. Additionally, when I'm going through these lectures, I'm always having my upcoming test in mind. For example, this lecture over here that tends to be quite cell biology specific is something that probably won't end up on my progress test as a medical student. For my undergraduate degree, for example, these types of materials would be very, very high yield. However, on my exam now, I'll get at most one question based on this material and so I can look at it much more lightly. Okay, so this list over here, for example, the different types of cancers that metastasize to bone. There's five of them, and it's come up quite a few times over the lectures, if I remember correctly. So I'm going to take some time to try and create an acronym or a way that I can learn this properly. Okay, that was pretty quick and I came up with it pretty randomly. If you haven't seen my video where I talk about the strategies and how I do these types of memorization techniques, I would highly recommend you check it out. Anyway, for these five cancers, breast, lung, prostate, kidney, and thyroid, I've come up with Burger King, lettuce, tomato, potato. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much as much studying as I can do before I need to eat. I'm pretty hungry. We started the run at 9.30 and it's currently 3.15, so, I really need some food. Anyways, let's head to the kitchen and see what I have in the fridge. All right, back in the kitchen. If you guys haven't seen the cooking video that I uploaded about a week ago, you guys should definitely check it out. You can click somewhere up here and go find it. So I remember I have one last thing of meal prep. So I've got my vegetables over here, my chicken over here, and then some rice here. So I'm just gonna throw it all in the pan, add some more sauces, heat it up, and we'll get to eating. Now, by far the most common question I got on my meal prep video is how do you reheat the food and how do you store it? I store it in the fridge and then when it's time to reheat it, I don't like using the microwave. I much prefer using a pan or a pot. Let me mix it all about. I'm gonna throw in an episode of The Office to watch while this heats up and we'll catch up in a bit. And voila, food is cooked and we're ready to go. All right, quick break to enjoy a couple episodes of The Office with lunch and then we'll get back to work. All right, all done with lunch, and I still have a couple of productive things that I wanna do before this weekend is over. First and foremost, I need to do my weekly grocery shopping. Me and my sister, we do this online via a website called Ocado. It's an absolutely amazing service that shows you all the food from all the different supermarkets in the UK. You pick and choose whatever you want, and they send it to your house, delivered straight to your door. If you're wondering, these are popsicles that I make myself. It's just one of my favorite snacks to have because it's pretty low calorie, and I just really love the texture of these popsicle things. Anyway, gonna do my shopping, and I'll be back in a sec. All right, all done. All right, so in half an hour, I'm gonna call my project partner for the research project that I'm doing this year. We need to finalize a couple of things before we submit it to a conference where it will hopefully be accepted and we'll go and speak at that conference and have our abstract published. That's the goal. Then I'm gonna go to my friend's house where we're gonna finish off this game that we started on Friday. It's called Man of Medan. So I have half an hour till that. In the meantime, I wanna make sure everything is perfect for when I release my medical school notes on Etsy over the coming week. I'm gonna double check that everything is correct, everything is right. All right, guys, all my notes are ready for release. I'm really, really excited for you guys to see them. I think that they're gonna be very helpful if you're studying an undergraduate sciences degree or if you're in medical school. This is pretty much what I spent all the free time I had in my summer doing. Anyways, if you think you might be interested in the notes, I'll leave a link here on screen down in the description and also in a pinned comment. Anyways, gonna call my partner and get started on that. Hey. Hi, how's it going? All right, guys, as with pretty much all things school related, that took much longer than expected. I thought that was gonna take like 15, 20 minutes just to read it over once and submit it. And it's taken over an hour, um, but I'm all done now. So happy that that's finished. Hopefully it gets accepted to the conference. Everybody cross your fingers and leave me a comment of a four leafed clover just to help the conference gods accept it. Anyways, I think that's about as much work as I can do in one day, especially the fact that I ran that run in the morning. I feel like my body has been quite tired throughout the day. I've still managed to be quite productive I've done a whole lot of different things and now I'm gonna go over to my friend's house to just relax and chill for the rest of the night all right guys I'll leave the clips of us playing video games as the outro to this video but I'm gonna end the vlog here I really hope you enjoyed the video if you did please don't forget to leave a like on it and also subscribe to my channel to see more videos from me in the future and that is it for me for now and I will see you in the next one peace